Na mtazamaji tukie na moja kwa moja kaunti ya Kiambu pale ambapo mtazamaji maafisa wa polisi wameweza kuwa wakiendeleza msako wa kupiga marufuku pombe Haram Husan katika maeneo ya Kiamba. Uh, hili swala limeweza kuwa likipigwa msasa na kamanda wa polisi eneo hili akiendelea kusema kuwa msako huu umesaidia Husan katika kupunguza idadi ya masala ama visa vya uhalifu katika maeneo haya. Mwandishi wetu wa habari Kimaku Chege ametonalia habari hii kwa kina. Maafisa wa polisi katika kaunti ya Kiambu wamenasa haramu ya takriban mamia ya maelfu na kuwatia mbaroni washukiwa watatu katika eneo bunge la Ruaka mjini Kiamba baada ya kujulishwa na uma. Kamanda wa polisi wa kaunti ya Kiambu Pamina Skiwi ametoa wito kwa kampuni zinazotengeneza bidhaa kutunga formula ya utupaji bidhaa baada ya kuuza bidhaa zao baada ya visa vingi vya kuchakata tena vifaa halali vya kampuni na watengenezaji pombe haramu It's a game which has been going on within this area where we have we have a different kind of uh, it is the manufacturers of this kind of beer and you, as you can know we have been uh, uh finding with you information now and then we are, we are never we confiscate this this kind of count of isimbia and now uh this one alone is worth the 350 but checking on the records from the sale register you can see for a period of four months they have been able to sell on beer uh, which is fake worthy over 10 million uh, i would like to urge the company I let them design a special way of man, uh, I mean of uh, disposing of this uh, bottle I mean the bottles and all their materials after they have sold these uh, types of beer because they are being uh, cleaned up they they come and they reconcile again then uh, after cleaning up they they use the same bottles to uh, to come and uh, I mean uh, I mean uh, they come and place uh, uh, those kind of um, um, of uh, drinks inside them and then they are sold back to the market. Once we are manufacturing this uh, counterfeit drink, I want to warn them that we are on high alert and we are not going to spare any one of them who is doing this kind of business and uh, we are going to change them before court. For this one alone you can see we have arrested the ring guys who are manufacturing these irritating drinks whatever but uh, let them know that we have on high alert and we are not going to spare them at all. At all. The government is losing a lot of uh, revenue on these ones because they are not paying any ones, especially the, the ch chances which are supposed to be paying to the KRI. We are tracing him and we are going to change him for court. But I want to assure that this is now the ninth uh, kind of this factory which we have uh, already uh, confiscate and beer from. It doesn't matter whether you are government officer, whether you are who or who, we deal with you like any other criminal. Because we won't just want to kill Kenyans for nothing. Uh, this is a part of the causes of crimes in Kiambu. Well, that's what I would like to say because you can remember them before we used to have a lot of murder cases, rape cases, serious cases, but due to this uh, lambent operation, we have been able to bring the crime to the required level. And right now, the crime is very, very low in Kiambu. Akizungumza katika mji wa Ruaka baada ya operation iliyofanikiwa. Kyo ya lisema mji huo umekuwa tishio baada ya kunyakuwa shehena nyingine miezi michache iliyopita. Ambapo walisema operation hiyo imeimarisha usalama katika kaunti hiyo. Kwani katika hivi majuzi, viwango ngua sana ambapo walisema hakuna mtu atayepushwa licha ya nafasi yake wakati huo huo alisema alitoa onyo kali kwa wanafanya biashara walagai ambapo walisema hata kubali aina hiyo ya biashara haramu kufanywa katika kaunti ya Kiambu kwa kuwa serikali inapoteza mamilioni ya pesa kutoka kwa huni wanaokwepa kulipa ushuru nikiripotia mzalendo TV kutoka eneo bunge la Kiamba kaunti ya Kiambu Langujina, kima kuchege.